department that kind of is a concern, and this is a, a peaceful department. Um, facilities maintenance auxiliary. We have facilities maintenance budgets for pretty much all of our buildings, um, but then there are some small ones that we group together because they're not big enough to have their own. Um, this includes um, probably eight to ten different small buildings um, that we do maintenance on. It has the historical library, the um, New Horizons soup kitchen, um, Lodak, the um, USDA building, the Lakes Library. Um, there's it's a list of small, and they don't really have a whole lot of work, um, but they typically have major things that happen sometimes, and they, they've had a couple of major major issues. They have um, HVAC problems all the time, especially the USDA building. That unit went out last year and had a replacement. On some of these, we, we rent out, or how do we use these buildings? Some are leased, some are services. And again, just one of those things that has already come up is the repairs in the HR building. Um, so those are about 94% percent out. Uh, Superior Court. They're about 42% spent out. Um, just some items like their um, education and training, they're already over on. Please tell me that was mandated training so that I feel better about it. Yeah. <laughs> there are requirements from uh, judges' counsel that they attend so many uh, classes and training seminars, and uh, they usually, generally, those are accounted for each year. There are occasions. You know, again, these are just these are things that we're having to watch to kind of make sure everything stays in balance. Um, the solicitor's office, we see their contractual services. Um, they they have unbudgeted um, data storage and just things like that. Those things add up when you're looking at budgets this size. Um, probate court, you'll see they're under professional services. And also under, um, I'm sorry, that's not, that is under professional services. That is, um, Judge LRB. Substitute judges. Substitute judges. Where is this now? I'm going to not. On page 22. All right. Where? Under um, professional services. Non capital professional services. <coughs> and you said that was. It, it was not anticipated, it was not requested, nor was it placed in the budget for substitute judges. The judge declared. Uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, that, that's actually attorney fees and all. The next line under court cost where that is over, that is from Judge Ellery. Which is where she recused herself, another judge had to be appointed, and that's the cost associated with that. Um, and then sometimes it's just because they, they asked to move money to another one and um, it's it's moved to um, where the expense actually comes out is somewhere else. Um, so that's why that 
one of the small tools there looks like it's for him and 30% over. It's because they have moved money down to other equipment repairs and maintenance instead of up to small tools. Y'all recall, I believe, that we discussed during the budget process that if there were line items that a particular department uh, was forced to exceed that we would do budget adjustments to keep them within the bottom line of the budget. So a number of these uh, that Stephanie's referring to have been budget adjustments where monies were taken from this particular line item and moved to another line item because of that unexpected expenditure. <coughs> And you will see some of these still showing over budget, and that's because they've not made the budget adjustment yet. If they come through on a credit card or come through on a direct bill that doesn't go through the requisition system, then I don't always see them before they happen. Um, so some of these they've got to go in and clean up some of these negatives. Um, page 23 is the Sheriff's Department Administration. here to be concerned about. Uh, professional services non-capital, that's already um, almost $4,000 over and I have another sizable invoice that just came in this week. What, what is that? That's the term fee. Okay. Professional services, <clears throat> what do you call it? Professional services non-capital. I'm assuming that has to do with the ongoing case predominantly. Several things, yeah. Several things. But that's it. Okay. Um, and just to scan through some of these, um, you'll see program supplies is 44% spent out, and they've already moved $4,000, or almost or over half of that, what was budgeted to another line item. Um, office supplies are at 44%, 44%, they've already taken 2,000 of that and moved it somewhere else. Um, their rent lease is at 88%. Um, small tools and equipment is at 67% and they have taken um, $4,000, almost half of that and moved it somewhere else. Subscriptions. 62% um, already. Um, other equipment repair and maintenance, they've added $10,000 there and they're still 90% spent. So as you look through the end of the year, it's going to be more and more difficult for them to be able to move money around and to meet those expenditures. Enforcement, professional services, other. They've taken almost half of that and moved it somewhere else, and they're still at 61%. Um, their canine services, that's um, child food and bed services, they're at 48%. Seminars, 92.75%. Um, the travel and the seminars, they've taken 10,000 of that and they're at 60, almost 64%. Program supplies are already over 100%. Their supplies are basically 100%. Um, small tools, they've taken almost half of that. They're at 85%. Dry cleaning, there was no money for that. Let's see where that's at. Um, they've added money to uniforms and are at 71%. Um, repair, other equipment repair and maintenance, 89%. And vehicle repair and maintenance, 65%. Now, 
guys. They moved money around in uniforms and dry, and dry clean didn't have anything budget. I and mean, we discussed that. Mm -hmm. How they going to pay for that? They moved from something else. Is what you're saying? They moved from somewhere else. Yeah, one line on to that line. But we don't know where it's. Well, there's some of these lines that are reduced. That's where it's multiple. Go. They, they, they've taken it out of. They may have taken it out of. Unit, well, the very first time they took money out of uniforms and put it in dry cleaning. But then they've had to move money from somewhere else to uniforms. Right. Now I don't need to know the, yeah. the ins and outs of all that. I just. As long as they're moving what they need from one area to another to cover their debt. That's it. I would I would think Stephanie and Joe you probably speak to this as well that it's it's not unreasonable that that number related to vehicle repair and maintenance for the enforcement it, with the age of some of our vehicles it would that's not necessarily unexpected or is that something well different? the the fleet manager um, and you'll see the fleet room on there. Mm -hmm. That is where the majority of those things are paid for. That is the shop maintenance. And anything that the shop does for the sheriff's vehicles is covered under that line. That line will not change no matter what they have to happen. If they blow 20 engines, it comes out of there. This vehicle maintenance here is what they do to be. You know, when they put new light bars on them and things like that, that is those things that they do in addition to what happens to the PMs gotcha. and the repairs and all. I gotcha. So if they get something new, even with drugs and funds or something like that, and they need to, I got you. I'm with you. Okay. Um, if you look over on page 25 at the jail, um, if you'll recall, there was a budget adjustment at the beginning of the year um, for those positions that the court office, uh, between here and the court office, so that that, that changed. Um, but the two biggest lines to look at under um, the jail, um, small tools, um, they have taken $6,000 of that, so they're at 60% and they have added that to the uniforms and they're at 99%. Now these uniforms under jail, what uniforms are they? The well, uniforms that the jail puts in. The correctional staff wear uniforms. So it's not the same thing as they're coming out of the sheriff's department? Well, they keep the, the jail costs okay. separately. All right. Because that's how you calculate that cost per day. Okay. 